AI tools are here to stay, and they actually don't have to be scary or overwhelming, confusing, or complicated, and they can actually save you so much time if you're using them correctly. No, you shouldn't use generic prompts. No, you shouldn't just copy and paste the output that it gives you. But yes, you can actually use these AI tools to help you in your content creation process. Now, I've tested out so many different AI tools, and there are certain things that I love the integrations of. There are certain software that I already use that have AI integrations. There are certain software that I love using that I hate their AI integrations. But the two that I always keep coming back to day in and day out is actually going to be Claude and ChatGPT. And you might be wondering which one is the best to use in your content creation workflow. I want to give you some pros and cons and some demonstrations on how I think you should use them. And these are the things that I use directly in my business, directly in my content creation workflow as a content strategist. And these are things that I have spent the last arguably the year testing and thinking about and actually developing. So what we're going to uncover today is which one you should actually be using. So the first one that I want to talk about is actually ChatGPT. This is the one that you're probably very familiar with that you've either used in the past or you've actually heard about. And there are a couple of different pros and cons here. And as we dive into these pros and cons and I start to kind of show you the behind the scenes, keep in mind, I'm talking about using these tools for content creation specifically. Of course, I use these AI tools in other aspects of my business, but for the purpose of this video, we're talking about content creation and using AI in that part of your workflow. So some pros of ChatGPT. I find ChatGPT to be a bit more powerful. It's able to process information a bit faster. I've also noticed that it can pull stats. The sources that it's pulling from are a little bit more reliable. ChatGPT also has a ton of integrations, not only within the platform itself, within the AI tool. A lot of other softwares use the base level foundation of ChatGPT. So if there's a tool or software that you're using that has some kind of AI integration, Typically, they're using the ChatGPT models. I don't know the specifics here, but they're using ChatGPT. And the last thing, ChatGPT was the first to market with custom GPTs. And basically, you can build your very own AI brain, your own AI tool. And it, it's not overly complicated. I have a few of my own. But basically, it allows you to create this custom chat window with specific instructions to help you do a specific thing. And we'll get into that in just a second. Now, some of the cons. I personally feel like ChatGPT sounds very bro-y or very robotic in terms of language. And I think the reason for this, and again, don't quote me here, but ChatGPT is often used more in the tech world or in industries that are a bit more robotic themselves and the people that are using ChatGPT train future models. So the language there isn't always the most personable. My brand is a little bit more kooky and out there. So I find the output from ChatGPT to be very robotic. It doesn't sound very human-like and doesn't sound like my brand, even after I give it very specific instructions on how to sound more like me. As far as implementing ChatGPT into your workflow, there are a few things I want you to keep in mind. It is 100% worth the money. You should upgrade to the paid version for a lot of different reasons that I won't even mention. But overall, it is faster. Results are better. You're just going to get access to a much higher quality of AI. The next thing you really do have to understand is how you are prompting it. If you go in and say, give me 10 content ideas, it's going to give you garbage. You have to understand the nuances of prompting the chat in order to get the results that you want. Should you decide to go the route of building a custom GPT, you need to plug your content strategy in there. You need to plug your brand voice in there. You need to give it that human input. You have to inject yourself into these tools in order to get an output that sounds like you. So with ChatGPT, you can see that I have used it in the past for certain aspects of my content creation workflow. I've used it to help me with messaging, developing my brand strategy for next year, things like that. But where the magic comes in with actually building your own custom GPT, and this is kind of what mine looks like. So Mine's called the content system, and this is actually my specific framework and how I approach content, content repurposing, things like that. So basically, I have these different prompts to help people get started. So write a YouTube outline, podcast outline, blog post outline, things like that. Or where the magic is, is helping me repurpose this piece of content. So I can simply click here. It's going to run through the prompt. And then I actually get to attach a file. This is where you can, you could copy and paste an Instagram caption in. You could do all kinds of different things, but I'm actually going to take my entire YouTube video transcript, hit open, 
and then give it a prompt. Um, basically, I could say something like, can you write a newsletter for me uh, based on the information in this video? And this is as far as I need to go with my prompting because inside of my custom GPT, I've already given it instructions on my brand, on my voice, how I want it to be structured. And as you can see, it is taking those custom instructions that I've given for it and it is creating that newsletter for me. And this is a really, really good first draft. Of course, I'm not going to copy and paste this and use it exactly, but this is such a great way to start to repurpose that content. Um, but basically what the inside of my GPT looks like and how you guys can, can structure it, you just come up into this configure window and you apply all of the different prompts that you want. So for me, I basically have, um, you know, when a user asks for help writing a YouTube outline, here's exactly what you're going to do. I have given it some very basic, uh, you know, avoid jargon, write concisely, use short sentences, things like that. And then I've given it a custom instruction of this is who you are, this is what you do, and this is how you're going to do it for me. And again, this is where the magic is with ChatGPT when it comes to content creation. So now that you've seen how I use ChatGPT for content creation, I want to talk more about Claude. Claude is a bit newer of a tool. It's kind of making its way through the marketing industry. And honestly, Claude has blown me away. So getting into some pros and cons about using Claude for content creation. The first pro, and this is something that I've heard across the board from peers in my industry and people that I've talked to, is that automatically, without giving it a ton of instruction, Claude sounds way more like a human. The output sounds a lot friendlier. It sounds a lot less robotic. It doesn't sound as like harsh and like, like a robot. And personally, when I give it very specific instructions, it tends to listen a little bit better than ChatGPT. And the one example that comes to mind that I've also heard from other people is that with ChatGPT, I could tell it something like, don't include hashtags, don't include emojis, and the output will still include hashtags and emojis. Whereas with Claude, if I tell it something, it listens. It doesn't include those hashtags. It doesn't include emojis. And sometimes even at the end, after I've told it that, it said, okay, here is what I'm going to give you without hashtags and without emojis. Like it reaffirms what you're telling it. And also with Claude, I've noticed that the output requires less editing. Yes, I am still editing everything that Claude gives to me, but I've noticed that it picks up on my voice. It picks up on my mannerisms in copy. It really does. When I give it instructions, it listens and performs better so that I don't have to spend as much time editing that output. Now, some cons with Claude. This is one that I've noticed most recently as I've played around with more tools and features in there. It tends to repeat itself a lot. It tends to repeat the same information over and over again, or it tends to whatever it's stored in its knowledge base constantly pull from. And this isn't always a bad thing. But when I ask it to, for instance, say, hey, can you repurpose this Instagram caption into a thread post? It will just copy and paste it over tweaking a few things. Or I'll notice that that Instagram caption shows up exactly the same in a newsletter like a week from now. And I'm like, where is it pulling this information? So that's the one thing that I have noticed as being kind of a mistake with Claude. But I will tell you, it keeps my messaging consistent throughout every piece of content that I create. So now, again, with implementation in Claude, you're going to get a better output no matter what. I just think it sounds more human-like. That is my personal opinion. But you still need to give it good input. And even with Claude, I like to give it a piece of content, give it my brand voice. I still give it a good human input in order to get that output where it requires a bit less editing. And yes, with this one as well, I do recommend you paying for the upgraded version. You're just going to get access to a much better, faster AI tool. And you also get access to features that they have just released things like projects, which is similar to custom GPTs that we've seen in chat GPT. And we'll get into that here now. Okay, so jumping into Claude here, I want to show you a couple of different things. I personally think Claude is a little bit better with its brainstorming. So basically what I did is I wanted to come up with a series of like struggles that people have with their content creation. So I went through like a brainstorming session with Claude and it gave me a ton of great output. So it's, I'm currently working on a short form video series, content tips for people who think they suck at content creation. And it started giving me a ton of great questions and I asked it to dive deeper. And I was just like, you know, here's all the things that uh, I think people are needing. What are some common questions that people might come up with? And 
I was able to get a lot of great inspiration for that particular video series. But again, where the magic of Claude comes into play is actually going to be in this thing called Projects. And this is something that I am actually starting to play around with a bit more. They work similarly to custom GPTs. So basically what I did is inside of this, the content system, I replicated what I had in chat GPT with custom AI instructions, but I'm also able to upload a lot of other project-based knowledge, which is kind of something that I've done in this content ideation and brainstorm. I've dumped my brand blueprint in here. And then within this project, you can have separate chats. So basically for content ideation and brainstorm, maybe I need help with podcast outlines one day. Maybe I need help hey, here's this particular hook. Here's this trend on TikTok. Maybe I could have a chat for that one day. And it will apply everything about my brand to that chat specifically. Um, again, let's go into this particular project here. You can see that, again, these are things that I'm playing with that are kind of brand new to me, but I've been loving the results. So for this particular video, basically that same transcript that I added into ChatGPT previously, I've also done it here. So, um, hey, can you help me optimize this YouTube video? And instead, this is another great thing about Claude is instead of having this really, really long chat, it'll create little documents for you. So I was like, hey, what do you think about, you know, the, this optimization? It gave me keywords, titles, descriptions. This is a little bit more human-like. This is a bit better optimized than some of the output ChatGPT has given me before. Same thing here. There's the newsletter. I just think it's a much better output. But you can upload and have it help you in the content repurposing process. Have it help you in the content ideation process and things like that. So now getting into which tool you should use, I am going to give you an answer you don't want to hear. It depends. I think it totally depends on your personal preference, totally depends on your brand, depends on who you are. And while I use both tools and I honestly pay for both tools, I don't think you need both. My biggest recommendation is that if you have a more professional brand or you have a more technical brand or you're doing a lot more research and need help with like finding answers to things, I do recommend you lean into ChatGPT a bit more. Now, if you have more of a personal brand, I do recommend using Claude. Personally, I have been reaching for Claude far more often in my content creation workflow because again, I just find it has the better output. It understands who I am. It understands my brand a little bit better and I'm spending a lot less time editing. And for me, Claude has been my go-to over the last couple of months when I'm using it in my content creation workflow. Whereas with ChatGPT, when I have those more technical aspects or when I need to find recipes in my personal life, I'm leaning into that tool a bit more. So I still use both, but in the instance of content creation, personally, I just think Claude is the way to go. So I'm curious to see which AI tool is your favorite. Which one have you used? What questions do you have? Let me know in the comments below. And if you want to see more AI tips, tools, tutorials, anything like that, also let me know and I can feature them in an upcoming video. Otherwise, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and I'll see you guys next week.